Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to look at how to create a Jenkins pipeline to integrate your Selenium and Cucumber tests. Now, unlike the previous video where we put everything in the job configuration, we are going to use a pipeline script to perform the same steps. So let's go ahead and create a simple pipeline. Let's give it a name, Selenium Cucumber Pipeline demo and you can create the pipeline type click on ok give it a description sample pipeline for selenium cucumber test and you can directly go to the pipeline section here there are two options i'm going to show you both but First, we'll see how we can do it by the pipeline script. Now for this demo also, I'm going to use the same GitHub repository and the project, right? Which is the Selenium sample. And if you go to that project, you will find a Jenkins file, which is present in the root directory. So it contains a pipeline script, which you can use. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. And to explain this script, it's a pretty simple script uses the default agent. It has three stages, build, test, and archive. And in the steps, build stage, uh, it just compiles the source code. In the test stage, it runs some event goal, clean install, and then it generates the Cucumber reports. In the archive stage, it archives all our artifacts. Now, if you don't want to write this particular line of script for generating the Cucumber reports, I'll show you a simple way of doing that. So click on pipeline syntax. And here you can try to find the Cucumber reports, right? And click on generate script. It's going to generate you the script. And you can copy this and use it in your script, pipeline script. So this is how simply you can uh, do it for every step for your pipeline script, right? for generating a maven or running a maven command or a batch command or archiving artifacts you can find different snippets uh, in this pipeline syntax go ahead and click on save and we are going to run this build but first let me open the blue ocean interface i particularly like this interface when i'm running a pipeline job because it tells me what is happening in each stage um, and also shows me the logs for each and every build stage, right? So let's have a look at what's going on here. While it is running the build stage, right? And then it is going to run the test stage. So as you can see, it is running all the tests now. Oh, first it will uh, actually compile the source code, then it will run uh, the SureFab plugin to run all the our Cucumber tests. And here are the here are the feature files and scenarios which it is running. So you can see here Chrome driver was started successfully, right? So it's running our scenarios. And then it's going to generate the Cucumber reports for us. And then it's going to archive the files. So everything run, ran okay. So let's exist, exit this view and go back to our Jenkins dashboard to check everything is all right. And we'll also check the Cucumber reports, which looks fine. It ran two, two scenarios for our feature file right so this is how you can um, run your pipeline using a pipeline script and let me now explain you how you can do the other way around so let's go back to the configuration and instead of pipeline script we are going to use the pipeline script from scm right so let me select this and we are going to select a git 
as an SCM. And we are going to put our repository here. So let me copy this and put it here. So our repository URL. This is the script path, which is the Jenkins file. And click on save. That's it, right? Now, whenever you make any changes to this script, this pipeline script and push it to your repository, it's always going to take the latest uh, pipeline script or which is the Jenkins file from your repository, right? Now, go ahead and build this or run this. So let me do build now. And it should start a build. Yeah, it has already started. So you can again go and open Blue Ocean if you want to see. But it's basically the same results which we achieved um, in a different way previously, right? So let me pause this video while it's running. And okay, uh, so the build is finished, right? Um, and it's the same compile test and archive stage, right? So this is how you can uh, run your pipeline through the pipeline script from SCM and also from the pipeline script. Obviously, uh, I would recommend you to use pipeline script from SCM if you're using a pipeline job, just because uh, it not, it's not advisable to change your configuration every time uh, going to your build configuration and changing it. Rather, uh, it should be, if you're working in a team, you should always um, use a source code management tool where you can put your pipeline script and whenever anyone is changing, you should be using the latest one, right? So that's it for this particular session. And finally, please share any valuable feedback with me uh, you have on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, QA Script, where um, I'll post many more videos um, on different DevOps tools uh, or, and Jenkins. So stay connected. And you can also visit me at qscript.com.